What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the Salt Life channel. I'm Emmanuel Williams and in today's video we're on the sea do heading out of Miami looking for some mahi mahi. I'm taking you guys with me. Do not go anywhere. We're here at the inlet. We're gonna try to find some schools of mullet. I have live mullet. I also have artificial baits. So we're just gonna run around, see what happens, see if we can't catch some fish. I'm taking you guys with me. Do not go anywhere. So we are right here on the beach. I'm actually pulling a swim bait and I'm just riding around trying to find the fish. We got a bunch of frigates here in front of us. Other than that, I really haven't seen much, but we're gonna find fish today, we have to. All right guys, we just made it out to 500 feet of water and we have this huge patch right there. Maybe there's fish on it. It is kind of shallow. It looks like it might've got hit already, but we will see. There has to be a dolphin somewhere around here, I would say. These are pretty big patches, I think. I think eventually we're gonna run into a dolphin. What we might do, what is going on? Oh, mahi mahi right there. Mahi mahi right there. Mahi mahi right there. Right behind the boat. We're about to get him. There we go. Mahi Mahi on. There we go. You're kidding me. Alrighty guys, so I found dolphin on this patch offshore. When I went to throw baits at him, all of my mullet jumped out of my cooler and the one I put on a hook somehow came off and I didn't catch either of the fish. So I just tied on a bucktail here and we're gonna see if we can't find them and get them. Oh, that's so painful. Alrighty guys, so since we have a couple patches, what we're gonna do is troll around some topwater baits right along the patches and hopefully we can find those mahi. Somehow, when I opened the cooler, all of my mullet jumped out and the one I hooked came off my hook. And the mahis ate them right in my face. But, I'm gonna pop this on there. We're gonna pull that across the top of the water. And this should get bit. So, let's see what happens. There we go. We got our mahi. There we go. Woo! Got our mahi, guys. Ugh. I knew it would pay off. Got to keep trolling. Got to keep trolling. So we're just cranking on him here. We hooked him on the troll. Just got him coming our way now. I'm gonna get ready with the gaff. Nice one. Okay. Wow, what a beautiful fish. Doing circles around us. Oh, more with him. Alrighty guys, we got dinner. Looks like we spooked that other mahi. It feels so good that we lost those fish to start off in the morning, but we're able to make it back up by catching this fish here. There was another dolphin swimming around with it, so I'm just trying to see if we can get him to come back up. This is the cowfish here and the bull swimming around somewhere. And there we go, guys. Beautiful mahi mahi trolling these patches out here. We have a patch going for miles and miles and miles. Just pulling that top water bait, plucked off this nice mahi there. It's gonna keep trolling, see if we can get some more. Yo! There we go. There we go. Oh my gosh, guys. I saw a mahi swimming on the surface. 
turned on the camera as soon as I could. Pitched the jig out. And he smoked it. Absolutely smoked it. Swam down. Woo. Alrighty. Alright, let's not shake the hook here. This fish went berserk on the jig. Just straight away crushed it. Fish right here so easy for them to spit these jigs sometimes look how lit up he is <sighs> dolly number two in the box we made up for it guys at the beginning we lost two fish right away we got two fish in the box now Woo! Just gotta keep picking away at them, see if you can't catch some more. There we go guys, another cow dolphin, just legal fish. Look at the colors on them. Just absolutely beautiful jig got her right, not even in her mouth, it was right here. Wow, look at that. <laughs> she smoked it so good she didn't even eat it, just caught her up here. So there we go, another beautiful dolphin in the box, going home for dinner. Alrighty guys, we are back at the house. We have the bigger of these two mahi that we caught today, all filleted up. Unfortunately, the big camera wasn't recording, but the GoPro was, so I'll go ahead and run in those clips now. First things first, we're gonna take our knife, we're gonna run it all the way up into the dolphin's head, just like that. And then, it's gonna come right here, and we're gonna outline the stomach. There we go. We're gonna take our knife and we're gonna start making a line all the way down our fish's body. You don't wanna go too deep, you just wanna make an outline so that you can come back and knock the fillet right off. So now that we have our fish outlined from head to tail, we're gonna take our knife and we're gonna start pushing it down in there. And we're gonna detach this fillet from the body. Now we're gonna look down in there. We're gonna cut over that backbone. Keep just like that. Whew. Now we're gonna take our knife. We're gonna start here at the back and you don't wanna push down too hard. You want to do it lightly or you'll start taking the mahi skin with it. It's going to take your time, nice and slow, all the way down the length of the filet. And then, there you go. Ooh. We're going to feel for our pin bones down in here. We're going to come right alongside them. Come down in here, cut those right out. And there you have it, all filleted up. Beautiful fillet of mahi mahi right there. Alrighty guys, so we have some mahi here. We're gonna make a quick and easy recipe because I'm hungry. Gonna get one egg in there, two eggs in there. We have five eggs in here. We're just gonna quickly whip them up. So take this piece, cut it just like that. Two tender-like pieces right in our egg. So here we have some seasoned panko crumbs. We're gonna go ahead and get this all in there. And these can be a little bland, so I'm gonna add some onion and garlic powder. 
this is gonna be our garlic powder. Let me get that in there. It's gonna be our onion powder. Let me get that in there as well. And we're just gonna kinda get it all mixed together. Might end up needing more than that, but if we need more, we'll add more. So we have all of our fish in our egg, and the egg is what we're gonna use to help the breadcrumbs really bind to the fish and hold on. So once we put it in that oil, we get a nice crust. So there you go, all full of egg. Just gonna go ahead, get it in that breadcrumbs. And we're gonna add it there. Here we have it, all breaded up, beautiful pieces of mahi-mahi going right in some hot oil. Our last batch is all ready. It is finally time to eat. From sea to plate, this fish was swimming around just a couple hours ago. So there we have it guys, a whole tray full of mahi mahi and this is only two fillets. That's why I say a lot of times when you go out there you do not need to kill a million fish. This is plenty of fish for me and my family to eat. So now I'm going to come in here with some sweet and tangy dipping sauce. This is going to be so good. Just like that. Get ourselves a nice piece. Look at that. First meal of the day right here. This tastes so good. Look at that. So check that out. Nice and juicy. Nice crust, beautiful insides. Get our sauce on there. Alrighty guys, that is a wrap for today's video. We ran out there looking for one thing, found something else, still turned out beautiful. If you hung out with me and watched this whole video, thank you so much. If you like what you see, hit that like button. If you wanna see more, hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.